Hello and welcome to another video where I tell you, in the series where I tell you things I think you should know if you want to get serious in this game. In this video I'm gonna cover resets, how to defend against them and how to do them. Before I start I gotta tell you, there's no magic ingredient, secret ingredient, there's no magic potion, there's no secret tech that will help you block all of this. Resets are a question of experience and character knowledge which makes this game a little hard to get into because a lot of people know all this. If you don't know what's gonna, what can happen, it feels like you can do nothing, but in fact you can do things. So in this video I'm gonna tell you things that characters usually go for. So, Squiggly likes to go for a lot of overheads. This is an instant overhead, and against a lot of the cast, you need to test this yourself. It's a combo. Not against everyone, check if it's a combo against your team specifically, so you don't have to check it against everyone. And if you're a squiggly, well now you have something to test, if you didn't know this. Also there is this cheeky reset that a lot of people go for anymore, but I still see it from time to time. If you see a launcher with a delay, like the after a hit, a delay after a hit, like that, it'll usually go to a cross up. Squiggly is also like going for this overhead. Which if they have this, it can go into a low. They can they also like to go low overhead. And they also like to go for something in the corner, very cheeky reset, which I don't know how to actually set it up for, but I'll show you what happened. That was a cross under, and as you saw, they can also set it up as a fake cross under. But usually, if they go for that, it will be a cross under, you gotta look out for that. The way to look out for it is if you see the medium into the flash, it means there's probably gonna be a cross under. So, how does Squiggly actually first, a lot of Squigglies like to go for this, raw, especially new Squigglies, if you're a new Squiggly and like to go for that, that's not real. You will get punished for that against anyone that just knows this. It can't just be jumped post flash. Then I click play, jump, post flash. There you go. The only way to make it real is if you have a charge, a medium punch charge. Well, a punch charge, and you sing first. If you're not jumping already, it'll catch you. So as a squiggly, how can you defend against resets? Aside from blocking. If you have a charge, you can give up your charge for a good dragon punch. If you see uh, an air dash, you can try and go for something up here. So it can actually hit them or trade or here. It's very hard to use any of these in in close proximity, but you also have this reversal. But again, they, it's easily baitable, especially if they use an assist to cover themselves. If people use an assist to hit you before they try to hit you with the point character, they, it might be called out. Squiggly struggles a little bit in the defense department. So what a lot of people do is the usual like, let's change it so it's, it's like, there's a reset, sing, oh, they're doing this, this will actually work, and they go into another super to make it safe. DH seeing defensively is a, is a very good option in this game. So now on to Big Band, now that he's already here, Big Band also loves his overheads. He has an instant overhead like this against the entire cast. He has these overheads. So you gotta watch out for those overheads. Uh, what else? He has a command grab. And speaking of grabs, how do you defend against grabs? Grabs take 12 frames to actually start. You, you, have, a, you have a 12 frame window to attack a grab if I remember correctly. Plus the seven frames of grab startup, so you have a pretty good, pretty good window to react. You can actually react to them, but you need to be looking out for them. Also, against Quigley, something I mentioned, I failed to mention, is that because of all the overheads and grabs she has, it's pretty safe to be jump backing against her, unless, which I'm gonna cover now, because Big Man also has a bunch of 
overheads and command grabs, so it would be pretty safe to jump to jump to a bank against him, right? The thing is that he also has the A train. So in the A train, the A train, how the A train works is that if the opponent is jumping in the way up of the jump, it's unblockable. So you gotta be careful with that. A lot of big band players expect you to jump back and will go for this. What I recommend to you is that at like mid range, do not jump back. Hold back. That way you'll be blocking against everything he can do. Against a little closer, this gets a little harder because his crouching light kick has amazing reach. So he might just simply catch you trying to jump back. And it's super easy to combo even at like max distance. Also, mashing super big band. Let's check this out actually. A lot of supers are not blockable post flash. I blocked after the flash, it didn't work. Actually trying to do something after his flash is pretty hard. This is what makes Big Man one of the best characters to mash out with. So I, Big Man can defend like that aside from blocking, just mash out that super. He can also mash out this, this DPs because even if they go for a cross up, the DP covers his back. Big Man also has, has all these defensive options. Something though is you need to t take a look out for, I don't remember if this now that we spoke about drama, drama is also important here. Don't know if the tutorial shows this, but when there's drama, you're actually able to block. Our supers are unblockable post flash, but if they have the character has drama, the super becomes blockable post flash. So we can we'll be on the lookout for that when you're against Big Band too. So, what does Eliza want to do? Eliza is a very straightforward character. She'll go for a lot of overheads, cross ups. It's kind of safe to be walking back, to be like jumping back against her. Uh, she also has a godlike crouching light kick, which is super easy to combo from, so you have to look out for that too. Let me show you a reset they always do. It's a launcher into segment. That's a cross under. Be on the lookout for that. They will if they do this and you see skeleton pop out, it's a cross under. Just block the other side. This also happens with this reset. That was a cross under again. So if you see that, it will probably be a cross under. Just hold the other way. So yeah. Also, she has a command grab, it's pretty slow, a lot of startup. The way I've seen people actually use it, because I don't use it that much, is after a push block, because you stay grounded for a longer time with a new push block, they do this to catch your toes, to catch you while you think you're safe. Because that tracks. It doesn't track, no it does track even if you're walking for backwards, so you need to jump it back. So those are the things you have to look out as Eliza. As Eliza in defense, a lot of new players will rely on her supers. The thing about this is that all of that is the startup, it's green, that means you can get hit. That has that that's not invulnerable from the startup frames. Same as with the air one. This is not invulnerable from the startup frames. So if the reset is tight, you will just get a hit. You can try to go for the upper cat. But the upper cat doesn't have that much vertical reach. So if they just do a jump and they time it correctly, it's just a safe jump against this up close. The only real and also if you're playing against a character like Bella, which has a lot of command grabs or someone that likes to grab you a lot, this is not grab invincible. So the only thing you can safely mash out is level three. Eliza has some issues with that, with defense. So you want to know what you're doing in defense when you're playing Eliza. Misfortune will also go for a lot of overheads. Also cross-ups. Like that. Point blank. 
She's point blank. You can be kind of sure she will go for a cross up. Right? Right. Also, she has that into an overhead and that into a low. The low is the fastest one and the overhead actually takes a while. So be always against this. Be always blocking low until you see the overhead because that's the slow one. Also, a lot of they will go for this sort of cross ups. Need to be on the lookout for them. But this is at, they do this with assist usually, so they can combo and it's after they're doing a combo for you and they do a reset. Be on the lookout for that. They do the same for the cross up again, like I was telling you. Even more if they have a an assist to cover them. That's basically it. For their for her resets. She also likes to go for grabs in the air because in air grab you can actually combo from it easier than when you can do it from the ground with her. So there you go. Usually they grab in this range again. So it's easier to combo from. That's what you're looking out for. She has an actual DP that you can combo from if it hits. So you can be mashing that out. She has this, which you can also mash out. And you have this, which you can also mash out in the air. So you have a bunch of defensive options. With Misfortune, you can be like, I'm gonna mash, so you're gonna be careful with what you do for resetting. Peacock. Peacock will use Shadow of the Impending Doom. And they can just simply jump over you, do this. That's not a cross-up now. It's insane. It's actually very insane. Against Peacock, what you really want to do on defense is have a character that can mash something out. And that's all and that, that's also not really a good that much of a good idea. Because if she just jumps like this and you mash something out, you'll just get comboed into. Because you did she didn't press any button. She will usually go for cross-ups and fake cross-ups and cross-unders and stuff. That's what you gotta look out for. Especially also over here. Like because they gave her a teleport, a literally teleport behind you to the zoner. So whoop, cross-up, where were you supposed to block? Were you supposed to block normally? Were you supposed to block the other way? It depends on the timing. She has some of the most ambiguous resets just built into her design. Honestly, I hate this, but against Peacock, the best defense is just don't be there. In defense, she can do this. It's not grab invincible. But at like this distance, even if they block it, it's pretty much safe. And it's hit invincible, pretty much safe. It's amazing. And that's kind of all you can do. Because this will usually trail. This will get you punished or a disadvantage. And level 3 can only done from a grab, so this is kind of like your only option, but it's a really good option anyways. Aside from blocking again. Uh, pinwheels will go will a lot of times be doing this and call assist. Where are you supposed to block? Whoa! You know the... The classic Sentinel. So you're gonna be on the lookout for that. A lot of them like to go for the overheads. And for the cross-ups like that. So be careful with that. A lot of them, as of now, are actually going for the overheads. These lock you into place if you try to jump back. And they're low on an overhead. And a lot of the times, because of how many particles there are, and how this game is really bad for colorblind people, it might be hard in certain stages and colors to actually discern in the heat of battle which one of these two is happening. You could jump forward, jump forward beats those two. <laughs> which is weird. But there you go. As defense, in the ground you kind of need to block against air dashers because if you mash that out, this out against an air dash, they will just dash over you. In the air, people are scared of you because this is amazing. It's so fun. It's it's again blockable, unblockable post flash unless you have on dizzy, and you can combo from it. It's insane. 
So what you can do is a pain will. Tophilias will go for the overhead salon. Maybe even some cheeky cross-ups like that. But it's usually just gonna be an overhead. Let's see, uh, f they usually go for a double overhead with this. Because this second one is not an overhead. But they might also go for the cheeky just one overhead with this. It was just one overhead. And you get opened up. They love doing that a lot. Like just this into an overhead. Or simply this into a low. Or this into a grab. <laughs> it's really hard to defend against her once she gets going. She also has this cross-up. This cross-up will usually always be a cross-up. So if you see this, just block the other way. And she has something... I don't know if it works against Philia herself, but let me make her stand up. It works against her. So against a, uh, like after doing a combo and re-standing you, they jump. Again, you're in a terrible position because like it like that's a combo when they jump. So after that, they can do a lot of things. They will jump and call an assist usually. Right? The thing is that. Jump, call assist, do this. So that's a cross up. Or you're like, you're in. And they can actually combo from this if. And then they can combo. You know, it's very ambiguous. And again, I hate this advice, but you just don't want to be in this position. She runs her train a lot. But Asphilia, what can you do? You can mash your DP. Your DP super even. Or you can mash Gregor Samson, which works both in the air and on the ground. It loses against a lot of things too, though. To which this super is called the best worst super in the game. Because it works well, but it can be beaten in random scrambles. She has good defense because she can just mash this super in the air whenever she wants. For Bella... 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 In the middle of a combo, they could just go to the cross-up, which sometimes it's actually a combo. In the middle of a combo, they also try to can go for an overhead. That's an overhead. It's not a grab. It's an overhead. They could also go for a... Because Ron is armored, they're kind of afraid that they might just call an assist. I don't have a good assist, but they can just do this with an assist, and with a big man assist, that's a fucking combo, and it's a great situation even if you block it they because you are afraid of that they will can go for the run stop and go for a low or because you're afraid of everything they can do you might try to jump back but that will catch in the low they will go for command grab At this distance there's also a command grab I messed it up, but something like that where they like seemingly drop a combo when you're at a safe distance. But oh no, I'm Bella. I have a command grab that reaches that far and goes into a full combo. And if they have another big ban assist, it's really hard to defend against it. So if you jump back, you might get caught in the A train assist. And so on again for Bella. And them having the instant overhead too. She also has to basically an instant overhead. That you can combo from with a good assist. Or without an assist, actually. So against Bella, again, you just don't want to be here. As Bella, you can mash this out. You can also mash this out. And in the air, in the air, a lot of Bellas mash this out because it retracts the hurt box and pauses you there. So it messes up a lot of timings and actually beats a lot of buttons. Because it has an amazing hitbox. But your safer bet is in the air. But because of her wanky hurtboxes and hitboxes. You might just not be able to actually do it. To reset her safely in the air. So that's what you can do. You can also on the ground mash out level 3. If you don't push block immediately after blocking that level 3. Which is a low. And goes into a combo and does tons of damage. It's actually safe. To Valentine. Valentine is tough. A lot of Valentines might go for something like into the cross sunder. 
there you go, that's the cross under, they will go for that, it's a little telegraphed because of the dash, so you can block it, a lot of the times in the middle of combo they will just go for an air dash and do this, which is, because of how it works, even if they press the button so late in the air dash, because of the moment, because the momentum carries on, that will be a cross up. She likes her cross ups and her grabs. Also something like this. I don't let the, this hit all the way and I grab. She likes doing that. So be careful with that. This is not frame 1 invincible if I remember correctly. Actually, let's test it. No, it has two frames of invulnerability. But because in the air it's a little hard to actually do tight that tight of a reset, she might be, be mashing this. If you have a tight reset, you're safe from that. But they can also do this. Same as Philia. The thing is that hers doesn't go into a combo, but she can do this all the time with one bar. In the air, she might go for this because it'll go into a combo, and on the ground, she might go for this because it's reliable. That's what she can do during defense. She doesn't have any other like actual reversal. She might go for the cheeky counter, but she doesn't have a flash because having a flash in a counter is like, I'm gonna counter and then you don't press a button, it's silly. This game did it right. So yeah, that's what you can do with Valentine. What Parasol will go for a lot is overhead into low. You gotta look out for that. She can also go for overhead into overhead. Go for tan in low into then low, but no one will do that. You cannot combo from that or anything. She can also go into standing low to overhead. Or low, low, overhead. Low overhead again. So, it's basically you have to look out for those. It's a little hard to react, but the, the ones that take the most time are the overhead, so I would recommend holding down back and if you see anything standing you know, hold back almost no one uses this the standing low also she will go for this a lot instant overhead with an assist especially if the assist is a low at this point it's better not to be there and in the air she will go for resets a lot look out for the dash she also has a setup i actually don't know how to do in which she basically does this, the napalm shot hits you, and they can dash under you into the corner. So again, she likes cross-ups and overhead low mix-ups. As her, in the air you're kind of fucked because you don't have a double jump, you don't have an air dash, you don't have a super in the air or anything. In the ground you're a little bit better off with pillar and, com and comboing into this, which is semi-safe, especially in the in mid screen but in the corner that's super if you're in the corner that's super punishable you will just have wasted meter in the corner i recommend if you just don't wanna if you want to challenge something just go for this if it works it works and you didn't and well you for so you didn't do the combo but if it didn't work at least you didn't waste the bar it's a decision you have to make on the fly you will go for a lot of this that's a cross up but in specific setups, like basically cross-ups. And you just gotta just block the cross-up again in this situation, you just don't want to be there with most characters. I'd recommend just blocking the cross-up when she goes for something like this. Because she loves that cross-up. It can be fake though. <laughs> she can also go for a different setup. She can also go for a different setup. Like that. So just block the cross up. Just block the cross up. What can you do as her? She has this one meter thingy that works really well. She has an actual DP, which with two bars you can actually make it safe all the time. A lot of uh, something that play, new players sometimes fall for is the puddle. Puddle doesn't make anything safe anymore. It was nerfed because when it was in, put in the main game first, it was actually safe.
That is a combo, but again... It's not safe. Don't respect that. So that's what you can do as double, and again, even me, a novice with her, could just mess up people like that? Fuqua is also very dangerous. A lot of Fuquas will go into this setup where they will jump and... and oh, it's a low while I was in the air, or... Whoop! It was not an empty jump overhead and things like that. You gotta be on the lookout for that. You need to be able to tell the shadows apart, which if you're colorblind in a lot of stages is actually kind of hard. So I'm sorry about that. That's basically it. She also likes to go for this, which is safe, especially if she calls an assist F with it. Like I can go for this. Which is safe, it can go into a combo and shit, it's a cross up. Be careful against that. She also has two command grabs, a fast command grab that can go into a combo if you do the right super. And a slow command grab with basically infinite with infinite armor. So you kinda want to overhead her, but this button is actually a really good anti-air. That button is actually a better anti-air than any of the anti-airs uh, Robo has. <laughs> Uh, that's sad. That's what you can look out for her. In defense, this is hit invincible. Not grab invincible though, but this super is actually invincible if I remember correctly. Let's check it out. It's actually not invincible. Or frames. So you want to be doing this instead. You could also go for level 3 or you can wake up with the infinite armor command grab. That'll take people... They'll make people be scared of you and they'll be jumping more. So which you can wake up with this. This is basically what Fuquas are looking for. And to end it with, Beowulf will like to go for overheads. A lot. I am fake overheads. Well, that's not an overhead. This overhead's going to combos. Problem with the Beowulf is that you will usually see him with the A train assist. Which makes jumping back dangerous, which is what you could kind of do against him to be a little safer when you don't know what they're gonna do. You don't have any read. You got a command grab too, which goes into full combo. Uh, they have a chair tons that goes that is an overhead. Let me do it again. That's a low overhead by themselves. You gotta look out for that. And the, this, which you gotta be careful on wake up. That's a safe jump against everyone, but Bella and Big Band. That's a safe jump, or at least that's what a top paid combo breaker player told me. So on wake up, you kind of just need to be afraid of that. I, that's one of the things I want change. I want Mbeo to be worried <laughs> about what's gonna happen. On defense, you can do this, which is invincible. You can start using your armored moves, but this one is slow. It might have, I think, two hits of armor, but it's so slow that people can go through it if you're just using it willy-nilly. You can use your armored moves. You can go for this. This is kind of a get-out-of-jail-free card. And you can go for the bionic arm, which goes into combo almost anywhere in the screen. Especially if you have an assist to actually do that with. And something... You can grab his heavy chair toss. It's only hit invincible. But... Check this out. Yes. That's plus one on block. His DP is plus one on block, so... Don't try to punish it, because it's not punishable. He has a DP that is plus one on block. And that's kind of you can do with Bayo. Robo has basically cross-ups. You know, you just jump and try to do this cheeky thing. It's not cross-up. 
It's a cross up and so on. Cross up like this, cross up like that. She also has an overhead. You will need to be blocking for the overhead because a lot of people overhead with uh because it's super unsafe that overhead. But if you call an assist with it, it's fine. And you can actually be plus depending on the assist. So you gotta look out for that overhead. Doesn't look for like an overhead, but it's an overhead. That's basically what you need to be looking out for. It also has cheeky cross unders. I don't know if it works with him. Doesn't work with him. But if you see them do like this against a, a light character, that can cross under. So look out for that. That's kind of her mix ups. She needs an assist to actually be more dangerous in her mix ups. But what can Robo do? Robo dies. She's cool, but she's not. She lacks the tools that make a traditionally good Skullgirls character good. That's what she's lacking. Even though you can make her work, she's lacking in these things. So this, you can still get hit by lows. This, if they cover with an assist, they will just go through it because it's only one hit of armor. This only covers high and you will get a hit if they go for a low. And this doesn't hit the level 3. With her, you kind of need to be praying that you will make the right call at the right time. What I do though... Is when I'm like, I don't want to think, I have two bars. I go into this, which because it actually has invincibility. Actual, actual startup invincibility, and I DHC immediately. I was going in the wrong direction, and I DHC immediately to become safe. That's what I do with Robo. It's like, kind of like a surefire fire way if you actually have a good DHC to be safe with Robo. So that's what the characters will be looking out for. This is a long ass video, I hope people actually enjoy it. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all for watching, I will catch you next time.